Hey guys, Chelsea here, and as most people know, I love assaulter weapons. Like, I love assaulters, I love SMGs. I don't like shotguns, but shotguns are bad, other than that Spash 12 in the, um, in that mod that I played. But, other than, you know, all of the, you know, the SMGs are some of my favourite in the game. They're some of my favourite weapons in the game, especially, you know, the Actis have some of the best SMGs in the game. But in this video I'm gonna be a bit I'm gonna be very, very negative. I'm gonna talk about what I think are the worst SMGs from every basically from every faction in every campaign. Obviously of course it's gonna be on that campaign only. So an SMG that is great on one campaign but shit on another is you know I'm look, so, for example, if a weapon is great in Moscow, but it's not good in, say, Berlin, I don't know. If an SMG is great in Moscow, but not great, great in Berlin, then I could put it in Berlin without taking into account Moscow and, you know, etc. Anyways, I'm going to be starting, of course, with the campaign, which I think has... What it has its worst SMG is not... is, you know, the better of the bunch. So, yeah, we'll start with that one. And we'll work our way up to what I think is the probably the worst SMG in the game. Other than that, hope you guys enjoy. I'm not taking into account any gold order weapons, so that means I won't be including stuff like the say, like the MKB. I won't be including stuff like the artillery Luger Eva or the um, the select fire weapons. I'm not select fire the pistol caliber carbine weapons. I won't be including these at all. I won't be including stuff like the PDM and stuff like that. You know, which they could make that list, but it'll be boring. Anyways, let's start with number 10 and work our way up. I really do not do this on purpose, but somehow Tunisia Axis is number 10 yet again. Seriously, I generally do not do this on purpose. <laughs> they just always get number 10 somehow, and well... For the number 10 for the Tunisia Axis, I'm going to have to go with the OVP. Now, the OVP is really good, okay? It's pretty good. It's not the best SMG, and it is overpriced. And I'm pretty sure I said it was the worst weapon in Tunisia back in the day, but when I made my worst weapons list. But I think generally it's not too bad. It's, it's a strong, solid SMG. But the problem is that every other Tunisia SMG, for the most part, are pretty good. Beretta M1, MP40, these Berettas. The MP28 is probably the only contender, but at least it's cheap. And real, and that was really the only point of the OVP, which is why it's over the MP28. The OVP is a free silver weapon. And the MP28 is a one silver weapon. So... And I don't think this is worth the three silvers. If it was a one or even a two silver, because I know there is um, the Breta M1918, which has pretty much the exact same role as the OVP, and, the, and that's okay. It's a two silver weapon. So if it was two silvers, maybe even one silver, it would probably be... T I would put the MP28 here, but I just think because it's a three silver, it's coming in at... As Tunisia Axis is worth SMG. Anyways, let's move on to number nine. Coming in at number nine is Berlin Soviets. Now, Berlin Soviets have arguably the strongest SMG lineup. I mean, all of these are nine out of tens, which are le at the minimum. The PPS is a nine out of ten. The PPS isn't. This PPS is a nine out of ten. PPSH is a 9 out of 10, and these two are 10 out of 10 weapons. So, which one am I picking? I'm going to go with the PPS-43, on the purpose that it's too similar to the PPS-42, and it's the same price. The problem is that by the time you've got, you get the PPS-43, you'd have had about 4 or 5 PPS... You'd have had a lot of PPS-42s. So, it's not as worth buying the PPS-43 as much as the PPS-42. It's pretty much better to stick with the PPS-42 than the PPS-43. The PPS-43 does have some advantage over it. It's got better recoil, I believe. 
it's got better vertical recoil, but worse horizontal. It's got a a higher rate of fire for this. It's got the same. It's got a quicker reload time. It has some decent advantages over the PPS forty two. However, it's not as you know. It's just not worth it. Now you could say, but what about the PPSH? Yes, this PPSH shits out my ammo, and it's a two silver. But I think that this thing just does. It, it performs better than both of these two, and is worth the two silver orders. Yeah, I know, it gets outclassed almost immediately by the PPD, and then later, of course, it's Drum Mag's brother, but... I'm gonna have to go with the PPS-43, just on the premise that, well, it's... It's, it's great, but you've got the PPS-42 here. Anyways, let's move on to number eight. Coming in at number 8 is Stalingrad Soviet's one, and speaking of the PPS-42, it's the Stalin it's the Stalingrad Soviet's option. Now, the problem with this is it's just in a really awkward position. It's wedged... I know it's a 9 out of 10 SMG, and it's much better than the PPS-34-38. Don't get me wrong, but 5 levels later, you get the Thompson, which is a much better SMG. And then three levels after that, you get the PPSH. And given that Stalingrad, if you have... I mean, yeah, if you haven't bought Stalingrad, then sure. You could put the... Then the Thompson would make it here if you haven't bought Stalingrad. But if you have bought Stalingrad, then it's easily the PPS. It's without question the most useless weapon in Stalingrad for the Soviets. Because you just get the Thompson almost immediately. Yeah, it's a good upgrade to the P to the PPD, but the Thompson's around the corner, and the PPSH is even if you don't have, if you haven't paid, you still get the PPSH in about eight levels, which is pretty good. But yeah, I mean, no one plays Starling Grade anyway, so who cares? Anyways, let's move on to number seven. Coming in at number seven is the final Soviet faction. Soviet Moscow. Now, Soviets obviously have some of the best LMG or SMG options in the game. And Moscow has three drum mags and a box mag. It had to be. I'm sorry. It has to be the 34-38 with the box. On the sheer premise that the 34-38, PPD-40 and PPSH are just so good. That it has to be the 34-38. Now, you could be saying, but what about the PPD-40? Doesn't that, you know, that's three silver orders and you get the PPSH almost immediately. Yes, that is true. But the thing is that this is still a decent option, even with the PPSH. And it's having the PPD. This is a cheaper option and you can transfer these over from Berlin if you've got them. Whereas the PPSH, you know, obviously the free silver, no matter where. And, but that's the thing with what... But with the PPD with the box, it's just kind of meh. Like, it's a meh weapon, which is why it's, it's... It's a good starting SMG, don't get me wrong. It's a really good starting SMG. But the problem is that there's so many great SMGs here. And basically, I mean, if I didn't put this here, I would have had to put a drum mag on. And I know for a fact that the community would lynch me on that. Anyways, let's move on to number six. Coming in at number six is Allies Tunisia. Now, Allies Tunisia, again, are another faction with great SMGs. I mean, they get four Thompsons, for Christ's sake. Five if you count the BSA. As well as that, they got two good supporting SMGs with the Lanchester and the Sten. It's the Sten, unfortunately. On the same reason as the PPD... The, the only reason I'm putting the Sten slightly higher than the PPD is because the Sten gets immediate competition. Whereas the PPD, you have to make it last a bit longer. And both of them are pretty much... You can interchange the two. The same with the P... I mean, unlike the PPS. The PPS as well, you can interchange with the Sten. But this was kind... I mean, pretty much most of these as well, you can interchange them as much as you want. We haven't really breached anything that's remotely just terrible. And 
I think that's the main thing with this list at the moment. None of these have been abstractly terrible. The Sen's still a really solid SMG and a really good starter SMG. But the problem is, again, it's quickly out, um, out, you know, outclassed by the Lanchester. And, of course, you've got the Thompsons just around the corner. Which is why it's coming in at number six. Anyways, let's just move on to number five. Coming in at number five is Moscow. And this is for the Axis in Moscow. I'm going to have to go with a weapon. I think it's just kind of overpriced. Now, you might be thinking, which one? Because there's two here. The MP40 and the Breton Model 38. And the MP40 and the MP38 are... They're basically identical to each other. But... I don't know. I mean, the MP30, MP40 you can transfer them over from other campaigns, which, you know, of, for much for the same price, or for cheaper prices as well, like Normandy and Berlin, for example. You can't really do, you can't do that with the, Bre with the Breton Model 38, and honestly, I'm going to have to go with this, because it's three silver orders, and this thing's supposed to counter the PPSH. No. First off, even the regular, and the, this is the main thing, it's a 20 round drum. You've got the 20 round drum for this thing. Not uh, the 20 round box, I mean not the drum. So you've got a 20 round magazine, and yeah, and you're meant to, it's level 30. And the worst thing is as well, the MP35 is four levels late earlier. And the Karali is five levels later. Both of which outclassed it so it's in between two smgs which are much better ironically this isn't even the the only axis or even the only italian smg that falls into this trap <sighs> but we'll talk about that in a little bit but yeah it's just i don't like it like like the the breton model 38 is a great smg but this has 20 rounds why would you pick this over the MP35? Why would you pick this over the Kurali? You know, the MP35 is really good. The Kurali is really good. They're both 10 out of 10 SMGs. The Model 38 is also a 10 out of 10 SMG, but not when it. But the main advantage it had was its 40 round magazine. Here, it doesn't have any real advantage over the other two because of its 20 round magazine. It's got worse magazine size than the other two, and the other two, you know, the Kurali obviously has to bring both the hit power and the rate of fire, whereas the MP35 brings, you know, some good hit power some, and some, you know, it's got better ammo, which is why the Breta M38 is coming in at number five and the pick for Axis Moscow. Anyways, let's move on to number four. Coming in at number four, it's got to be Stalingrad Axis, and this one was easy. It's the MP38, MP28, I mean, not 38, MP28. The MP28, you knew it was coming on this list. I mean, what, what can I say about this which hasn't already been said? It's got a shit magazine, it, ha it doesn't do much damage, it's basically the exact same as... The MP, it's pretty much the exact same, same as the, as the Breton Model 38. But the difference is, with the Model 38, you actually have some, it has some competition. And even though, yeah, you're up against some really good Soviet SMGs at the time, the Model 38 has some, you know, has some oomph to it. And you can use other weapons. With the MP28, on the other hand, you're pretty much stuck with it until level full 16. At which point you get the MP40. Or, you can weigh it out and get the MP for the Kurali 39M. If, of course, if you're paying. Obviously, of course, if you if you don't if you don't pay, it's probably better to, to literally write... Um, if you pay, obviously, you get the MP40 in, like, five matches anyways. But, and of course, if you don't pay, you're going to get the Kurali quite... If you pay as well, you'll get the Kurali quickly. And then the, obviously, the 717. But yeah, this thing just sucks, which is why it's coming in 
at number four and the pick four acts at Stalingrad. Anyways, let's move on to number three. Coming in number three, we have my all-time favourite faction, Normandy Axis. Normandy Axis have argu have some of the best SMGs in the game. You've got the actual M38, the MP40, and you've got the MP35. It even has a really good start in SMG with the MP34. The MP34 is really good. But there is a blemish here, the FNAB. Remember when I was talking about a bad Italian SMG with 40 which is stuck between two better SMGs, that was the FNAB. The FNAB just sucks, okay? And I know there's people out there who defend the FNAB, and they're like, oh, it's really good when it's fully upgraded. So is the MP34, so is the MP40, so is the MP35. So is the, you know, so pretty much all three of these SMGs do the job that the FNAB does, only better with a better rate of fire and I know people go oh but you know max it's got good rate of fire max it's still worse than an MP than an unleveled MP40 and the MP40 is not unlock is unlocked like four levels later I mean hell it's got the f max it just has a slightly better fire rate than an unleveled MP34 which you've got by default and then again max the MP34 does I believe I mean does it I'm pretty sure this does it does the same damage but obviously the MP40 max does more damage being a two to three shot kill and whereas the FNAB I mean this thing shoots marshmallows for God's sake and it has a slow rate of fire it's boring to fire and it's just awful it's just plain awful the only really good thing it has is it has actually it's got really good sights okay it has good sights on this thing and it does look decent but, again, MP34 is much better and unlocked earlier. MP40 is much better and unlocked slightly later. All for the same price. Exact same as the Model 38, pretty much, in in um, Moscow. The only, real, the only thing is that the FNAB sucks just so much more than the Beretta Model 38. Anyways... Let's move on to number two. Coming in at with back to back, it's Normandy Allies. Now Normandy Allies, they've got their SMGs. Literally, are the most. They have the most. I I, I don't know how to say it. Like they've got their last four SMGs are well. The last two is are amazing. Their the two before that are pretty solid, and and then the two before them are pretty shit. They literally go, shit, good, amazing. And obviously, it's going to be the, M the M3 or the M3A1. Now, the M3A1, again, like the FNAB, can work when upgraded. The M3, on the other hand, can't work even when upgraded. Like, this thing sucks even when upgraded. You can see here, like, this thing can't even outshoot a non-leveled... Axis, you know, the non-leveled MP38, MP34. It's also very boring to fire. It looks ugly. Its sights, uh, they're okay, but they're not that good. And worst, worst of it is that this thing just, you're going to be stuck with, now the thing is with these two, you're stuck with them until level 22 where you get an actual SMG with the stem. And, yeah, I might, you know, I'm going to cop out. I'm putting both of these on here because they're both crap. You're using them until level 22, at which point you get an actual SMG. And the SMG's overpriced as well. Like, the Sten's overpriced, unfortunately. And, yeah, both suck. Both are pretty much outclassed by almost anything. And, yeah. The only thing that both of them have is the damage. I mean, 8.2 for a um, SMG, that's the same as a Thompson. The difference is, however, the Thompson actually has a good rate of fire. Like, if you put out a, you know, a maxed out M1A1 Thompson will 2 to 3 hit people. The same with an M3 and an M3A1 Grease Gun. However, by the time you're firing that third shot off with the M3A1, 
the other the other three enemies already killed you. The same with the M. And by the time you fired off the second shot with the M3 grease gun, the the enemies already killed you. So yeah, the the main thing with these two are their rate of fire, and they just they just suck. The only thing they have going for them is their damage, but even that's not the best. But, of course, they're not the worst, and everyone knows what's number one. So let's not hide around the bush, let's get to number one. <sighs> Coming in number one, Axis Berlin, there's no contender. We all knew what's number one, it's the 3008. Now, you might say, what well, about the Volkstrom Gebit? Well, remember, I, did, I was excluding assault rifles, and technically this is a semi-automatic rifle. Even though it's classed as a submachine gun, it's technically a semi-automatic rifle, so... I'm going to exclude that. So it leads to 3008. Why? It's got a bad rate of fire. It's got just bad sights. It's, it's just... Why? Literally, this is supposed to be a copy of the Sten. Only the Sten is much better than this. I really do not like this weapon at all. It sucks, it does no damage, it, does, it has low damage, it has a low rate of fire, and more to the point, it's up against the PPS-42. The PPS-42 overpowers this in, just insanely. Honestly, it's much better to just, when you get the MP-40, throw these away, do not even throw these on tankers, and then just... Wait until, and then literally just use the MP40 for the rest of the game. And until, of course, you get to the MP35, in which case use the MP35, because the MP35 slaps. And then use that until you unlock the, um, what's it called, the uh, MP43. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts in the comments what you guys think of the worst SMGs. Obviously, of course... Most of the list was really subjective. Like, I generally think that the bottom half could be interchangeable in any order. Because they all work. And they all do quite well. But, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, obviously, you know, join the Discord if you want to. You know, you want to message me or, you know, you want to um, have a, um, you know... Or you want to have a few games or leave a few suggestions. And I'll see you guys in the next video.